All right then gang, so hopefully you had a good go at this challenge where you had to change this image dependent on whether this was in focus and if there's text inside so he closes his eyes and he's not peeking on what you're typing. So this is now going to be the solution to this exercise. All right then, so I'm starting back using the starter files from scratch and if we take a look at this in the browser so far, then it's going to basically be that we see both images and nothing really works. Now, we only want to show one image at a time and the default image we want to show is the one with the eyes open. So we need to hide this one to begin with and make sure this is showing to begin with. So what I'm going to do is create two selectors here. I'm going to say form image dot open and this is going to be display lock because we want that to show to begin with and then form image.closed and that is going to be display none and we can use those selectors using these classes open and closed because they already have those classes right here okay so if we check this out now I'm gonna actually save this and we can see only this one shows but still nothing works we now need to make it so that when we enter something into this field and when it's in focus we want this to swap to the eyes closed image so how are we going to do that? Well, we need to satisfy two conditions first, don't we? We need to, first of all, make sure that there is text inside here. Now, how can we make sure of that? Well, all we need to do is use the required attribute on the input. So now we're saying to the browser, this is a required field. And when we do that, we can use a pseudo selector called valid to say when this input is valid, you can style it a bit differently, right? So for example, let me come over here. I can say form input and then, oops, let's change that to form and then use the pseudo selector valid like so. And then we'll just say the background is going to be red when it's valid. Okay. Now, if I come over to the browser again, then you can see this is valid because we have no requirements here. So if we put required here as well, then it wouldn't be red to begin with. But as soon as we start to add a value, then it's valid because we've put a value into it and a value is required. So that kind of satisfies the condition that we need for this password input right here, whereby we need text inside it. So that is valid, right? So we can use that pseudo selector to identify, if you like, the first condition, text being inside this input field. Now, the second condition is the focus pseudo selector. So when this particular field is in focus. You see that little white ring around this input field? That's because it's in focus. If I click on this one, this is in focus, right? And we can use that focus pseudo selector to style this essentially only when this is in focus. So what I can do is chain these together. I can say when we have an input field, which is also in focus, so we can say colon focus like that, then we're gonna style it red. So now these are the two conditions when it's valid, and it's in focus. And when that's the case, we're styling it red. So now you can see we have items or text inside these input fields, but it's only when one of them becomes focused as well that we're styling it red. Does that make sense? Now, I don't wanna style this one red or anything like that. I just want the focus to be on this. So what I'm gonna do is actually use square brackets here to say that the type of this input should be a password. Now that's only gonna match this one here now, this password one. So this will never be styled red. So let me save that again and test it out. So now even though this is in focus and we have text inside it, it's not being styled red. But when this is in focus and we have text inside it, it's being styled red. So that's good, that's the first step, but we don't really wanna style this red, do we? Instead, we want to use these conditions right here that we have to somehow then style the images so that when those two conditions are met, then we show this image and not this one. So essentially we need to set that to be display none and this to be display block. So now how do we do that? Well, we really need to think about this because we're targeting this right here and we're styling this when the conditions are met. But what we wanna say is, okay, when we have those conditions, then jump up here and grab the images and style those differently. Now there's no kind of sibling selector that can do that. We have sibling selectors which are plus and that gets us the next element that's next to this. So if we had like a P tag here, it would grab that. Um, if we did something like this, you know, plus P, I'll show you that now. So let me come down here and say hello. And what I will do is save that, come over here, and we're giving this a background of red. So now this would style the P next to the input, 
let me save it. So when these conditions are met, now the paragraph tag gets the styling, not the input itself. And that's because we use this sibling selector. We also have this one right here, which is, if I can find it on my keyboard, it's like a little squiggly line, but I never use it. So I can never find where it is. Got it. It's right there. Okay. So if we use that, that's another type of sibling selector. And that means basically if I have other P tags down here and save it, watch this, it styles all of these adjacent siblings, but it doesn't style the ones before the element. So if I did this and put it up here, it wouldn't style that one because it only ever styles the siblings after this particular element. Okay, so we need to kind of reach up here above the input field. So we can't really use sibling selectors to do this. So instead, what we have to do is use a CSS function, which is also a pseudo selector. Um, it's not really a function, it's a pseudo selector, but it uses parentheses. So we can say form that has some certain condition. And that certain condition is that it has an input, which is valid and in focus, right? So now we're actually selecting the form element that has this condition. So now this is going to style the whole of the form. So if we go over here and start typing in here, then it colors the whole background of the form, right? Now, since we have now the parent element, the form, we can therefore get the images inside that form. Does that make sense? So now we can just say, all right, we're grabbing the form. And then inside that form, we want to grab the image that has the open eyes. And we want that to be display none, right? Because when these conditions are met, then the open eyes image doesn't show. So we can say display none for that one. Then I'm going to copy this again, paste it down here, and this time grab the closed one. And we want this to be display block because again, when these conditions are met, we want the closed eyes ninja to show. So let me save that and see if this works. Hopefully, I'm going to refresh. All right now, if we do something in here, nothing happens. If we come into focus down here now, still nothing happens. But if we satisfy the second condition, then we show the image with the eyes closed. Does that make sense now? Delete all those characters and the eyes are open. Enter them in, the eyes are closed. Remove the focus, the eyes are open. So now we're satisfying those conditions. Awesome.